Hey guys, so this is the card we're going to try and, well not try, <laughs> it's already made. <laughs> this is the card we're going to make today. Um, I thought it was kind of funny having the ants carry the food off. Um, I thought that was kind of cute. Um, it's, the inspiration for this card actually came from someone else who, if I can remember, I will link her video below. Um, but if not, if you just um, search for this stamp set, it should come up there. And I think she'd done like a picnic table um, and used one of Lawn Fawns. There is a little stamp set that has little ants and that in in the stamp set. So um, she kind of, she made this whole picnic scene and the ants carrying things off. So I took total inspiration from her. So this is not, the card's different, but the idea is is totally hers so um, so yeah so I'm going to show you what we need for this um, I think I'll start I'll just let you know about the cardstock quickly this is a um, this is so saffron by Stampin' Up and it measures 11 by four and a quarter scored and folded at five and a half um, this piece is one of the new colors or new to me anyway um, which is um, <laughs> and I can't remember what it's called Bahama Bahama Blue no Balmy Blue <laughs> anyway it's just a lovely light blue so you could have any you could it doesn't have to be stamping up you can have it's just a really nice pale yellow with a nice pale blue the blue is basically the sky so that's the idea behind it um, this is Pear Pizzazz down here, um, it's one of my new favourite greens in Stampin' Up! and um, I'll show you what I've used to die cut everything. This is, um, I want to say this is Whisper White from Stampin' Up! It could be the thick version as well, um, but again it, it doesn't, you don't have to have that specific brand, it's just you're trying to create sky, grass, fence, that's the idea. So, as always I'll have the, I'll insert the colour names of the Copics that I used for the images and I'll also insert the bit where I colour the images in. Um, I'll get to those in a minute. <laughs> so the stamp set is Let's Barbecue by Lawn Fawn and it's quite a sweet little set. It's, um, I don't know how old it's quite an old set but all the images come sort of just plain like without the faces on it and then there's a load of little faces all over that you can stamp on them to create this fun little just a bit of fun on the images so that's what I've done on pretty much every image because <laughs> I can't help it because it's so cute so you know the uh, burgers got it the mushrooms got it the hot dog the barbecue itself has got it <laughs> And then on the inside, um, the ketchup bottle <coughs> and the other mushroom, the sort of separate mushroom, um, he got that too. So they all got faced. Is that a word? Is that a way to say it? I don't know. Anyway, so they come without the faces and then you can add the faces in yourself. Um, but I think it's a very cute stamp set. And again, it's a nice stamp set if you need something for a, a masculine card. Um, it's barbecue and it's food. So, you know, what man doesn't like that? Um, or woman. <laughs> so to get my little ants, I don't have the Lawn Fawn stamp set that is, um, I, I don't know what it's called, but um, it's got like a little line of ants across it. And I think there's some watermelon, I think it is, in the stamp set. Anyway, so I went back and looked through my stamps and I've got a retired stamp set from um, Stampin' Up! called Beetles and Bugs. And I love this thing because this to me is a very, again, a masculine thing. You can do this for little boys or um, little girls that like bugs. But, you know, like birthday cards, that kind of thing. Or you could use it around Halloween, anything like that. But I, I'm, I like this set. So <laughs> I had to have it. But on here, there is actually a little end. So that's the little guy that I use to create my trail um, so that they're walking off with the food. So to create the grass, um, I used, like I say, Pear Pizzazz 
and um, I've used it just on two different like depths of of paper. I actually used one sheet and cut it either side, just varied the, the height of the of the grass and this is the grassy border. This is the straight one. There is um, a few now um, that Lawn Fawn have. There's a set that come with three sort of squiggly ones and then there's um, I think a set of two or three that come with um, sort of curved grass. So use what you have. Then this is the picket fence border, um, also by Lawn Fawn, and um, I used the fence and I was going to use what would go across this part of the fence so it would sit across there and I totally forgot to stick it on so <laughs> we're not using that but I just thought I'd show you that because there is actually, um, I cut it out twice but there is actually this little, it's like a um, stitched border sort of thing which you could do if you have some stitched borders, border dies, um, you could easily make your own version. Um, onto some sort of picket fence type um, die set if you've got it um, but like I say I totally forgot to actually stick them on so. and this is kind of neat because it also comes with a little gate so you could always depending on the scene you're creating you can create this little um, sort of gate that can open or a double gate that can actually open and then you can have something sort of the other side of the gate if that makes any sense right so that's basically it um, I used Versafine Onyx Black, which I, is a very crisp, very intense black ink. Um, and I like this for, even though it takes a little while to dry, I like it for things like sentiments. Um, and the only other thing I actually added was a couple of little, you know, like old school, <laughs> like when we were at school. Um, we used to make little birds like this. So um, that's, I just added them in. I just felt like the the background needed something more um, because even though there's a lot going on here it was just it was like there was something missing so I just added some birds in the background <laughs> and uh, stuck these guys on the inside and that finishes the card so I will insert the coloring portion of all these images first and then I will insert the piece where I actually put the card together so I'm going to try in future keep these intros shorter than I have done. Um, it depends how much details on the card and how much time I need to maybe explain what I've done. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this new format. And um, yeah, if you want to see more from me, please don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Enjoy. Bye.